Mabuhay! It's me, your girl, Inday naman! Welcome back to my Taglish channel! Hello guys! How are you all? Another side of the universe so guys for today's video we are still in adelaide south australia guys so we are in the south so now we are heading we are going for a drive and going to mclaren vale dito sa south australia so mclaren vale is one of the australian wine industry so we are going to do a wine winery wine tasting for today's video plus some of the tourist spot along the way so guys are you ready what are we waiting for happy watching Mr. Crow Hello We are not rats Okay, so we go up there Man, Man love the rangers And Dynamo have naked eyes. <laughs> Can't reveal her secret identity. <laughs> yes, open, but very foggy. I pick up This is, I think, what we're looking at. Yeah. Welcome to Mount Lofty Summit. It's the highest point in the southern Mount Lofty Ranges. It is located about 15 kilometers east of the Adelaide city center within the Cleveland National Park in the Adelaide Hills area of South Australia. Cafe there, gift shop there. So that's open, and brushes, 
Pay two dollars and get a penny back. Yeah. Fuck you. Free Wi Fi here, apparently. Just give them back up your videos. Or you can get all your favourite collection of animals inside. Basura. There you go. It's a cafe there. Very nice. Not much view today, though. We'll go off to the right here and have a look at the trails. Lots of bike people here apparently. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, so that's some bike trails and bike trails. I think that's it there. No drones, no motorbikes. It's all different tracks there. Pass it, pass it, the hut. Too cold. Nation there. Seats. Hi, on. Provide spectacular panoramic views across Adelaide City skyline to the coast. And here is Adelaide, if you could actually see it through that, which you really can't. I'm guessing that's what you meant to see. Yes. Good time. That's the other view. Hi, Ann. From the summit, you can follow the popular Dynamo. walk down to Water Gully, join the Hayson Trail, or stroll along a walking trail through native bushland of Finland Wildlife Park. There's more trails there. Oh, People are jerks. Mount Lofty Summit Lookout and Car Park Vehicle Access Gates to the Car Park are open at the following times October to March 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., April to September 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mount Lofty Summit Gift Shop is open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily, close Christmas Day. Slowly opening up now. Yeah, it's slipping, you can see, see a bit now see, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it rabbit? Yes, it is. Right in front oh, of hello. Look at we that. have rabbit. Hello there. <laughs> see a lot more of Adelaide. So let me try to zoom in here so we can see that's the city there. And there we go. Hello city. Gardens there. Mm -hmm. I, know. I think that's the entertainment thing at the back there. That building there. So we have seen these sports.
This old mill dates back to 1860. John Dunn, a mill engineer from Devonshire, built the mill. He built a number of flour mills throughout Australia. But the Bridgewater Mill is by far his most famous. Situated on Mount Barker Road, the mill boasts an impressive working water wheel. Don chose this particular spot due to the high level of traffic that passed through the area. In 1986, a consortium purchased the mill. They renovated and integrated an award-winning winery into the building. Petaluma Wines today, it is a popular restaurant and a wine cellar, growing in a crowd looking for a future pursuit in the Adelaide area. Well, it comes in up there and turns the big wheel. And it looks like this has been turned into a cafe up here. So you can watch a big wheel go around while you eat your mine and a cafe at Almosal. We go back up the stairs here. Have a look see from a different level. There's the water coming in. More steps. Oh. There we go. Welcome to Nepente. Nepente was established in 1994 driven by the vision to become one of the region's benchmark wineries known for producing premium wines that showcase the unique nature of our home. Island. Soft little in Dynamo. And the cellar door. Don't know if it's inside the. Might be inside here. Like so, there. Very ganda. Madame and Grepi.
most beautiful stone fruit characteristic coming through mid palette, and then it finishes dry with green apple and a little bit of lime. Yeah. Can't see your heads, boy. Dalawa is on. I answer up. You can see we are done on our napan, no panty. Napanty. Yeah. Very, very ganda. Very ganda. Yes. Yeah, you can see the sparking light over there. And what's that? Vineyard there. Yeah, uh, but it's yellowish. Yeah, vines. Vine. And you, can, you can sit you out can here and have your wine too. and have your food. The cellar doors. Yes. Not, not the one we first walked into. Uh, <laughs> in Dynamo, it's a bit less thing, so she walked into the wrong door. It's the one to the right hand side there, so we sat out on the deck area. But yeah, it's very, very nice out here. Very nice. Yeah. Very gunga. So guys, I think we're now going to chocolate. Yeah. In, unless Roberto feels like he wants to pull into another one. I don't know. I thought this year I know. <laughs> Take a photo, Mommy. Come here. Take a photo. Oh, I am. So here, guys. I think this is also too. I have a backpack. I am. Pull it, girl. They have chairs too. Yes. Get your tan on. See? I cannot look at that one. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I forget what the place it's called. I think it's called Melba's. Um, so I think it's a chocolate factory and obviously they sell as well. So we're still uh, in uh, Adelaide Hills and then I think we're heading to McLaren Vale. Um, which is probably a further drive after we go to a chocolate place. So for now... So we go to how many? I don't know, we'll see what, how, I guess what time we're done. Okay, so take a photo. So this is our first winery. Um, I bought three <laughs> bottles of wine, so... No, you don't have legs. <laughs> Welcome to Melba's Chocolates. Melba's Chocolates was started by Graham and Joy Forrestal in March 1981 in a small wash house behind their Adelaide restaurant, Melba's. The business progressed in varying stages with the restaurant sale was relocated to a single car garage behind their Oak Bank home in the Adelaide Hills. Bulaga! So guys, we are here at Melba's Chocolate Factory for today's video. So after our wine tasting, Nandito tayo sa loob ng Melbas. So, ayan. We are in Melbas and we're going to go inside. Half 
a bit. Historically, Melba separated all heritage chocolate and confectionery making machinery and this continues today allowing visitors to experience the old arts and techniques. Message wheels, chocolate bullets, message balls. Self and Dynamo, Anaka and the Slub. Slub, one arm and Slub, anything. Mm. Oh, bananas, Chuck Babies. We're going to give a giant bunny hand. All tastes the same. The Melbourne Chocolate Factory boosts five production rooms and is home to iconic South Australia products like traffic lights, inch licorice, and an assortment of chocolate and confectionery sweets. So yeah guys, we are done on our Melba's Chocolate Factory. What you bought, Jax? In Donovan, we got dark chocolate. What's well, upside down? Dark chocolate buds, chocolate peanut brittle, and candy spuds, which I think is mostly sort of like a coconut sort of flavored. Ooh, um, and, uh, yeah, just oh, lolly. So I think it's made of, yeah, coconut and sugar and stuff. So it's kind of like a sweet coconut sort of lolly. Ooh. You what, what you bought? Guys. Candy spuds, dark chocolate, and peanut brittle. It's gonna be fun.
Welcome to Yugo Wines, produce premium wines from a state-grown fruit in McLarenville, South Australia. Yugo Wines continues to be a family-owned and operated McLarenville winery. The Yugo family still manage the vineyard and use 100% estate grown fruit from the 50-acre vineyard to produce incredibly consistent wines from their estate. Lift the Cabernet a bit higher on the vine so that the Cabernet and the Shiraz actually ripen at the same time. Okay. So once we do that, we actually ferment them together and then we put them into barrel as one wine and then off into bottle. So if you think slow cooking, where you're actually bringing your flavours together from day one, you get a lot more richness, darker colour, and a rounder flavour. Yeah. And that's what makes this very special, is that all those things are working through from day one. From day one, yes. You're not walking into a barrel shed eight months down the track and going, what are we going to do with this stuff? Decisions being made. Yeah, yeah. So okay. uh, enjoy, folks. Mm. Yeah. So when's your vintage here? Uh, we're about six weeks. We are at a place called Wira Wira. There's a photo photo to the left. There's some trebuchet looking wine barrels at that end. There's a restaurant in front here. So little mini vine grapes there. Um, on. There's a photo photo there. I have to go there soon. Oh, there's games as well. Go back. Get out of the trap on. Little bit of. Dumbing grapes. Have to get a trato. Okay guys, so this is the history of Vero Vera. We are in Vero Vera winery for another wine tasting. You can see here a big huge of Welcome to Vero Vera Vineyards, the iron stone cellars of Vero Vera House, a story rich in mischief, adventure and dedication to creating great wines. The winery was built in 1894 by eccentric Paul Mosaic Rikuta, who absconded to McLaren Vale after reversing his family one too many times. now because it's autumn here, so it's cold. So no grapes at the moment during okay, so Jax will do the hand wash first. Yeah. While I'm covered the door. Yeah. But we don't need to wear masks here. No, so Ayan, fancy grabbing naman yung lights nila. Very well, nice. So it looks like chocolate bowls. So Ayan, if you will I think if you will do tasting they have a resignated Cheers for you, how many you are. Looks so like it's a camp area. Hey, um, and we go inside, we look for the wine test. 
That's a deli there. Wine tastings here to the right. So guys, wish us luck. Okay guys, so unfortunately we cannot go inside the beer of your uh, wine tasting because we're too light already. So you can see and we can look around here. Ano meron? Kasi I think they close 5 o'clock and then they cannot uh, serve now the wine tasting so you need to buy a wine uh, glass for that. So you can see here the do not like sure. I'm guessing a, there's a wire there. It's too high. I mean, it will fling it in. I don't know. I don't know if that's meant to be where it's estimated to land, but this is, this isn't part of a process. Oh, here I think they put their vine here. But unfortunately, we cannot go because we need a to go now, guys. So I am wrong. before dinner so we came up here so this is the upper viewing area up there you can see there so we'll see what view we have hey on oh they might wake their way a bit more higher good times Sun. I think that's the, I think that's maybe like a cafe or something as part of it all. I think that's up and around the corner of a, oh. Hey, Arn. Can you hit the gutter, can you? Nah, it's a mango. Yeah, I think this is where the like cafe or something is at the top there. So still walking up. So that's the building there. And Kanan. Another car park. No other bit also isn't coming to. Um, here's the information sign. So here we go. Hoax's was rerouted in 1865. 
established the reserve in 1930. Oh, that's, that's what it used to be like. Hi, young guys. Hi, on. Oh, I knock. So this is a view. That's the airport in the distance there. Zoom in. That's the airport. Could see Glenelg earlier. Zoom back out. So you see it So this is up from at the top here. Hey, um, that's the car park down below. So guys, oh, there's a bit more of air. That's the city over there. Let's zoom in again. Let's go in uh, three times. It's a city over there. Zoom back out. Can't show in Dynamo without her, her magical glasses. In there. So guys. Apunan or Ang Tang Halian? Yeah, on this side. Yes, very slow. Google says on the left, but I'm guessing I've switched sides because the one on the left looked like it's closed down. So I must have switched sides. Hmm. I put it front, there might be a reservation for like if you have a. Hello. Say hello to my fluffy dog. So fluffy. Oh, so fluffy. Asian color. Oh, oh. That's still close to Phoenix. Oh, okay, I'm on the side of the road. Why is this so? Yeah, it must have switched sides. Another guppy up further, but it was like boarded up or the light wasn't on. Okay, across there, guys. <laughs> I'm not following, I'm doing your, your video. Hi guys! Um. Guys, that's our McLaren Veil vale dito sa South Australia for today's video. Nakita nyo, pumunta tayo sa mga scenic spot, sa mga tourist spot na pinupuntahan dito. Along the way, dito sa McLaren Veil, vale. nakita nyo din guys, we go to the winery. So, uh, McLaren Veil vale is a good region for wineries. So, it's a home to some of the world's oldest grape vines. So, nakita nyo, there's a lot of vineyards around the area. So, nakita nyo, we went to three wineries here. So, Neventel, uh, Hugo, uh, Vira Vira, yung Vira Vira, yung last nating wineries. Hindi tayo nakapunta kasi, um, 
closing na yung kanilang wine tasting uh, area. So, um, di na tayo nakapag wine tasting doon. Pero, nakapunta tayo sa labas ng Wira Wira na nakita nyo kanina sa ating video for today. So, nakita nyo kanina, we went also to the Melba Chocolate dito sa uh, McLaren Vale along the area, guys. So, nakita nyo din ang ating The Bridge Water Meal na napakalaking meal talaga uh, they can cater also a events uh, anniversary birthdays and all types of occasions so I will put their details their website their socials in my description box down below and you can check them out so nakita nyo din kanina guys and um, every time we will go to the winery guys or the cellar door uh, we need to uh, pay like $10 AUD upon entry dito sa wine tasting and then meron silang list ng mga wines nila yung mga famous wines nila doon sa cellar door kung ano yung mga matatype nyong malalasahan nyo later uh, pwede nyo uh, you can buy after the wine tasting and then you know the $10 that you pay already is a redeemable if you purchase any uh, wine na na-taste natin kanina. So, nakita nyo, bumili kami ng mga wine after na aming wine tasting for today's video. Nakita nyo kung gano'n ka uh, laki yung kanilang vineyard. So, ngayon kasi, mid-autumn na. It's a very uh, yellowish na yung mga leaves. Hindi nyo natin may kita mga grapes. So, nakapag-harvest sila ng mga grapes nila sa kanilang mga sa mga pagawaan nila guys na kanilang wine. So, ayun na nga guys. This is the end of our uh, McLaren Vales for today's video. Nakita nyo ang uh, mga winery dito. There's a lot of wineries here. And also, they also have a cellar doors. So, ayun na nga guys. I do recommend if you will go to South Australia. It's only a um, near outside the Adelaide city proper guys. And it's you can also see some of the town here around the area also. And ayun na nga guys. I do recommend or we do recommend that if you will go to South Australia. If you go to Adelaide, you must go also for a day tour here sa McLaren Vale for winery and if you are very uh if you love wine if you love wine tasting McLaren Vale you can also go and then yun napuntahan natin sa Varosa Valley also na wine region so ayun na nga guys that's the end of our McLaren Vale for today's video I hope you enjoy watching and you had fun for today plus you learned something today guys Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting my videos. And mega love shout out to each wonderful, beautiful people of the universe. Thank you from the bottom of my hypo. Talamus, please like if you did enjoy my video for yeah. today. And please do subscribe if you haven't yet. And yeah. don't forget to hit the bell button for you to get notified on my next video. Yeah. And please comment down below if you like this video. Pa. Yeah. And see you when I see you on my next video. Wow, bye bye guys. Be good, you take care, be safe, and ciao la.